A Valley Natives feature-length documentary will soon be playing in a local theater. The project took years to complete and was filmed thousands of miles away. First News reporter Cheyenne Gibbons spoke with the director and she has the details. John Jerko is from Yankee Lake, but he's been far from home shooting a documentary. He's been in Africa following the lives of rangers protecting wildlife. The film is called Rhino Man. Since about 2008, it's been a pretty intense rhino poaching crisis there. That crisis is more than just the rhinos and poachers. It's also about the people and their efforts to protect wildlife. The film connects the audience to these rangers, showing their lives, their families, their passions, and the the dangers of their job. It's really a, an emotional film. It's, you know, coming into it from a filmmaking standpoint, not so much the conservation side. I really wanted to focus on the human side of that story. Jerko says during his time, he became close friends with the rangers. Rhino Man mostly follows ranger Anton Mazimba, who was killed by rhino poaching syndicates at his home near the film's completion. It was a pretty devastating experience as a friend, but then as a filmmaker, just kind of a crazy journey of figuring out how to how to really work that into the film and do it in a way that's respectful to him and his family and his legacy. The documentary has been in over 20 film festivals and has won five awards and received two nominations. Jerko lives in Atlanta now, but he's excited to bring this film home for his friends and family. It's been a, a wild journey and I feel like we have something pretty special in this story. It's, this is my first film that I feel extremely proud about as a director. Rhino Man will premiere at the Cinemark Tinseltown in Boardman with a Q&A following the film on Tuesday, August 20th. In Yankee Lake, Cheyenne Gibbons, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.